Ever thought about the fact that music is just another form of brain stimulation? No? Ever thought about connecting electrodes to your face and pumping electrical current through your brain? Also no? Well, I'm Caden, and welcome to Brain Jam, a musical electrical brain stimulation experience system which brings an entirely new dimension to music. Let's go. All my friends are <laughs> Brain Jam, or Stim Music, is a system that I've been building with my good friend Jeremy Stairs, which we started working on way back when he started experimenting with TACS and TDCS, transcranial alternating current stimulation and transcranial direct current stimulation. I'm Jeremy Stairs. I make Neurotech. I built this with Caden. Our first brain stimulation meeting was simple enough. We simply wanted to try out some transcranial direct current stimulation, TDCS, in order to experience the calming effects and perhaps meditate alongside the TDCS stimulation. We did this with our friend Yezen, a neurobiology master student at the University of Toronto and someone who gives in to peer pressure easily. So we came in to Yezen's apartment and uh, hooked up some batteries to our heads. And at one point, when turning the device on and off, we realized there was some type of gravitational pull galvanic vestibular stimulation, or GVS. Your vestibular system is an internal organ in your head that generates your sense of balance. You can do this in three directions, roll, pitch, and yaw. It also happens to be responsive to electric fields, which we can stimulate across your head. We alter your sense of balance by creating a device that creates an electric field across your head and syncing the changes in that electric field up with music. Gave ourselves some pretty high doses of vestibular stim. Right now. Yeah, we need, what was that on, that's 1K? We could just connect it right now and I'll lock and turn it on myself and see what happens. Okay. That's exactly what we should do. What? All right. All right, are we ready? I'm Let's ready. go. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we fell into some walls. All right, and attempt number two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy and I came up with the idea to sync up these balance effects with music. When the beat drops, we want to drop too. You would sway pretty quickly. This is sort of like the motion that you get when you're dancing, moving side to side. So we wanted to try to see if that would fit nicely with the listening to of music or perhaps with actual dancing. We want to add a whole new dimension to music by inputting audio directly into our vestibular system so that we feel balance effects directly in sync with the music. We decided to meet up again to build a real stim music system. To do so, I assembled a crack team of crack heads with golden retriever energy. Smooth, professional music producer that let us use his studio and did not expect to get overstimulated by three engineers at once. I'm smooth. Aman Bargava, engineer, neuro guy, Caltech PhD candidate, and probably too smart to be dedicating his weekend to getting high off electricity. Jeremy Stairs, engineer, BCI guy, and living testament to why you don't want to run too much current through your face. Oh yeah. Kaden, it's a funny step, engineer, huh? BCI, wearables do. Uh, 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 that's me. As you can see, we had to develop a lot of technology to make this system work. I'm not going to explain every detail, but you can find all the software and hardware open source with an MIT license in the Git repository linked in the description. Despite all the jokes, there's 20 years of research supporting that this current and system is completely safe. We read the papers and we built in redundant systems in order to be as safe as possible. We knew that we needed to improve our system, so we designed a custom TACS board. Once the boards arrived, Jeremy drove from Toronto down to London, Ontario to help me solder them up and get them running. Stuck it in a pair of headphones. Then we tried it on every single person who wasn't too scared to say yes. 
All right, soldering has begun. What are we doing, Jeremy? Soldering. What? Boards. For what? Brain stem. For what? Getting high. Why? Because it's awesome. So uh, some people are uh, partial to the Cuisinart um, units, but I'm actually more of an elite gourmet kind of guy. Yeah, see how it's... So why don't you just uh, do it on the hot plate? Sorry, I'm busy. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me, what's that? <laughs> Here are two fully functional, custom-made, transcranial alternating current stimulation PCBs. We have power in, we have a bipolar power supply unit, and then on this side, we have a transcranial alternating current amplifier. Here we have a ESP32. That is going to connect to this and drive it with signals that it receives over Bluetooth from our computer or phone. And then we're gonna power it with the 3.7 volt LiPo. And then we're gonna put it all in a pair of headphones to make a wearable. Look how small that is. It works. We put electrodes on the mastoids of the users, which are the bony bumps behind your ears, so that when current flows from one electrode to the other, it will pass across the vestibular system, which is located in your inner ear. Electrodes, cut. We've tested the board, it works, it puts current out. We're currently preparing our crappy Kijiji used pair of headphones, which we're gonna put the board in. Oh, the tension is killing me. Come on! Woo! Woo! <laughs> that was an interesting experience. I think I want to try and then we should go. Let's do it. <sighs> that good electrical coupling, you know what I'm saying? That salty couple. That Those real salty <laughs> couple. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna need to turn it down for the party. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, let's turn it down some more. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's, uh, <That's> something. <laughs> <laughs> and then brought it to a party to test out on some civilians. <laughs> I attended the Wolfram Summer School. At the end of the school, I slapped some brain stimulation on a bunch of PhDs and they loved it. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's <good. laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. On my way back to the East Coast, I stopped in Windsor where I met up with some friends who also wanted to try it. One of our friends had a crazy reaction. She said it felt like mushrooms mixed with MDMA. Not that she'd ever tried those or anything. <laughs> She's way more entertaining than you. <laughs> Yeah, there's all kinds of responses. Uh, <laughs> he was gonna try this. <laughs> <laughs> Gardens are gigglers. <laughs> so, somewhat surprisingly, the system is actually awesome and people love using it. This is an early prototype techno drug, but of all the people who used it, pretty much everyone enjoyed it. It seems to be a lot of fun and it adds a new dimension to music, much in the same way as dancing adds a new dimension to music. It's very promising. We're excited. Follow my channel, subscribe and like in order to see future videos that I put out about this system. And you can also check out a lot of other futuristic technology like this RV hacker lab or smart glasses demos if you check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. This is Kaden, over and out. Goodbye. 
See you later. Like and subscribe. Smart glasses, neurotech, wearables, AI, singularity, futuristic, Ray Kurzweil, Elon Musk. Can I stop now? Hang up the phone. Stop watching the video.